This is the end Beautiful friend Welcome to another great film throwback day, everybody. And this was a movie that I have heard about for so many years. A lot of people were saying it was amazing, it was something you had to see. And of course, based on the topics in the film, the actors that are in this movie, as well as the great Francis Ford Coppola being director of this film, it was time for me to see the Vietnam War epic film Apocalypse Now, starring Marlon Brando, Martin Sheen, Harrison Ford, Lawrence Fishburne, Robert Duvall and Dennis Hopper. I was very excited to see this movie because I may not be the biggest war fan, but I am so entranced by the Vietnam War. It was something that I did touch on in school, but for some strange reason we never really got into the nitty gritty details of it just because of the fact that it always happens that the spring comes around, that's when everybody's got the spring fever ready to end school in the summer, and the curriculum just went way too long and we never really got into the whole story. So to actually see a movie where you actually see the soldiers on the battlefield was definitely something that I was interested in. Francis Ford Coppola took this great bunch of actors with a very simple story of a young soldier who had seen much of Vietnam War time and he's given a new mission to go into the jungles of Cambodia to find this one prestigious army man that went rogue. This movie was without a doubt one of the best shot films that I have ever seen, especially when it was directed in 1979, there really had not been that many movies about the Vietnam War, because let's face it, the Vietnam War ended just a couple of years before that. That is absolutely crazy. So to actually see this beautifully shot film, the constantly revolving cameras, the wide-angle shots, the cinematography, the colors of the jungle, and the explosions. For a movie that was made in 1979, I cannot get over the fact that None of that film was shot with CGI image. I was shocked by how well that film was shot. The actors in that film, also, everyone played their parts beautifully. I have never seen a movie where Martin Sheen actually looked that young. He looked just like his son, Emilio Estevez. Marlon Brando, even though I'm not the biggest fan of his, he's definitely got a great role in this movie. Harrison Ford, even though he doesn't have a major role, I found it really funny that his name was Colonel Lucas, because he had just done Star Wars two years before. Robert Duvall as Killhorn, he has one of the best lines in the movie. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. And Dennis Hopper was also very, very good. I also couldn't get over the fact that Lawrence Fishburne was just so freaking young in this movie. I couldn't even recognize him when I first saw him on screen. Holy cow. The music is also very well done, partially scored by Francis Ford Coppola, but you also have some excellent songs, especially This Is The End From The Doors, which is one of my all-time favorite songs. However, as great as all that acting is, as great as the camera work is, as great as a topic and everything else in between, I didn't like this movie at all. It was so simple to follow, I understood that, but... I didn't understand what this major artistic tone that Francis Ford Coppola was trying to do in this movie. In between the major action sequences, which were so well done, by the way, and all of the crazy, out-of-control intensity that these soldiers were having to go through, which basically took innocent boys and pretty much turned them into mindless, insane, cold-blooded killers due to the war, due to the heat, due to the humidity, due to all the disease. It just made these guys go crazy. I personally thought that a much better interpretation of the Vietnam War was Platoon, especially because I still need to see the Deer Hunter, and also we were soldier starring Mel Gibson was also a very good depiction of the Vietnam War, but I don't understand what the point of this movie was besides that minor plot point, because everything in between was just so weird, so completely out of whack, and that whole ending sequence, I'm not going to mention it exactly, but it's basically comparing two specific things that are going on at the same time, and I just didn't understand the symbolism. I mean, if there's somebody out there that loves Apocalypse Now, can you please 
explain to me this symbolism? I didn't watch the Redux edition, especially because I had some people out there that told me that it wasn't as good as the original cut, so I watched the original cut, and I still have a feeling that if I did see the Redux, I probably wouldn't enjoy it either, because I was just shocked that all of these great things were just taken down so badly by a story that was just so bizarre and just out there, and I like out there, I really do, but this movie, not in the slightest. It's a classic film, I'm not going to say that it's something you should just stay away from. It's a movie that people should see just because of everything that had gone into making this movie and the significance that it really did make to cinema, apparently. I'm still trying to figure out what it was. Maybe it was the symbolism that I didn't get that made it such a legendary film. But for me, it's not a movie I want to see again. I really don't appreciate this film. But because of those things that I liked about that movie compared to where the things I did not like about the movie movie are, it sort of hit a midpoint, so Apocalypse Now is going to get 2 out of 4. So thank you very much for watching the great film Throwback Day, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Actions speak louder than words.